Blue face, baby. Yeah, hey. Bust down, Tatiana. Yeah, hey. I wanna see you bust down. Bust down, Tatiana. Bust down, Tatiana. I wanna see you bust that over, pick it up, not break that shit down, break it down, speed it up, not slow that shit down on the gang, slow it down, bust it, bust down, bust down, bust it, bust it, bust down on the gang. So hi guys, let's get into this video. So I'm just gonna take my NYX brow mascara and I'm just gonna kind of like just lightly coat that onto my eyebrows okay it's not that light i'm basically gonna start shaping my eyebrows using that and then going in with my anastasia beverly hills dip by pomade i'm just going to further define my eyebrows you know make them look real cute in there so i'm just going to use my la girl pro concealers in toffee and toast I'm going to use toffee underneath my eyebrows because toffee is a bit lighter so it gives you a little bit of a highlight as well but then I use toast above my eyebrows because it's a bit closer to my foundation shade and we don't need to be having halo eyebrows because we left that in 2014. I'm just going to take this time to shout out my friend Raf, you know, he got me McDonald's, I mean I had to put it in containers because he spilled my drink on my food, so the burger's a bit wet, but you know, he paid for it, so I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee as a base for my eyeshadow. I've always done it this way and it works. And then I'm gonna go into my Morphe and James Charles palette and take this blue shade right here and just blend it into my crease. Um, it was actually a little bit too dark, so then I went over it with a lighter blue shade just to try and, you know, brighten it up a bit. Now I'm gonna go into my Morphe 35B palette and I'm just going to take this purple shade here. I'm just gonna put it into the outer V of my eyes. I just want to darken that outer area up just a little bit. Going into my Morphe 35K palette, I'm just gonna take this very light silver gray shimmer color and i'm going to use that to put onto my eyelid i wouldn't quite call this a cut crease but it's kind of a cut crease so i guess we'll call it a cut crease using the same brush that i used previously to apply my eyeshadow i'm just going to blend the corners of my eyes out and i'm just going to put a quick layer of mascara on and just pop some lashes on and I'm just going to use some wipes to clean up that excess eyeshadow off my face. So I've started doing this thing where I apply my primer and my foundation together. Um, I find that it makes my foundation, my makeup just last longer in general. The foundation I'm using is actually a tester from Lancome. And as you can see, it is no longer my shade. <sighs> I think I just put too much foundation on my face, but I eventually got it to blend in perfectly fine. So I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Matchstick Concealer in Suede to highlight my face. I'm just going to take a little bit of my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee and just place that under my eyes, on the top of my lip, my chin and my forehead. I'm also going to use my Fenty Matchstick Concealer in Espresso to contour my face. When I'm contouring my nose, I like to use a smaller brush to just get the shape right. And then I go in with a smaller beauty blender just to blend that out. And then I'll go over and contour the rest of my face.
Using my Sacha Buttercup setting powder, I'm just going to place that on all the places I just concealed. So under my eyes, my forehead, my nose, the top of my lip and my chin. Now going into my sleek face form palette, I'm just going to go over all the places I just contoured with using this dark shade. Now while my face is baking, I'm just going to give my hair a little bit of attention. Um, right now I'm just adding a little bit of rubbing alcohol onto my lace um, just to remove any excess glue. I'm just going to use a blow dryer on a cool setting just to dry that before brushing my hair. I only ever leave my setting powder on for about 5 to 7 minutes because I don't like to over bake. So I'm just going to brush that off with a brush and then spray my face with some setting spray. Going back into my sleek face form palette, I'm going to use the lightest highlighter in there. Um, I decided to use this highlighter because the rest of my highlighters have a bit of a pink undertone and I really wanted something a bit cooler for today. Using a bigger brush, I just like to go over them areas where I've highlighted just to make sure there's no harsh lines. And I'm going to go in with some more setting spray just to set everything in again. I just like to use some black eyeliner and line my waterline. It's just something I always do. It's, it's routine. And I just like to go back over my face and add my beauty spots back in. Next, I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara to my lower lash line. And then using my sleek brown lip liner I'm just going to line my lips and then using my Kiko 3D Hydra lip gloss in number seven I think I'm going to add that to the middle this is me guys um yeah, um, I know I haven't shown the whole outfit, so I'm just going to like put pictures up because it's really difficult to get like a full body video where I am right now. So yeah, I hope you liked it, but please like, comment and subscribe. I've missed doing a get ready with me kind of video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs>